clinical supplies have really changed in the last 10 to 20 years. Um, largely aligns with what's happening within the industry. Speed is everything, so everything is moving much faster, and we also see that we're having to deliver much faster for the clinical trials as they need them. In addition, you know, our technology has really moved into more of a data-driven technology. We have a lot of more technology-based solutions for labeling, for automations, for moving from a more manual space to a semi-automated or a fully automated space, and all of those things help us drive drive the business of clinical supplies faster forward and ultimately get supplies out to the patients worldwide for the trial sites faster. So what we do in pharmaceutical operations and clinical supplies is to serve as MRL's internal manufacturing organization to support clinical trials. And we now have the ability to manufacture all of the products that are in the company's pipeline. Those products include small molecules, large molecule biologics, antibody drug conjugates, as well as vaccines. The Global Clinical Supply Organization works closely with the clinical development team to define what clinical trials are needed and what clinical trial supplies are needed for those trials. Clinical supplies vary depending on the phase of development you're in. In the early phases of clinical development, we tend to have compounds that are more fit for purpose and from a clinical supply perspective are typically producing products for clinical trials in smaller quantities, less patients in smaller clinical trials. As the clinical trials increase in their phases, the size of those trials increases. We have more patients to deliver to. We have more clinical trial sites in more countries around the world. And typically the complexity of those packaged supplies also changes in terms of not just quantity, but the different labeling and language requirements. I think we all feel a sense of urgency within MRL and clinical supply that we are the last stage of manufacturing before these products are going to the clinic. Patients are waiting for these drugs, so we feel a sense of responsibility to get those out and commitment to those patients.